Hello, welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, as many of you know, we invite viewers to send us puzzles uh, that we can solve for you uh, in our videos. Well, uh, some kind soul uh, sent us this one, uh, the world's hardest Sudoku, uh, and asked if we could explain how to logically uh, deduce the next uh, numbers. Well, I have to say, this is um, this is not a puzzle that is <laughs> going to be the subject of uh, any video solving on the channel. It is absolutely uh, ridiculously hard, um, far beyond sort of uh, in my view, far beyond human comprehension in the sense that um, you, in order to solve it, it, would, it takes a series of iterative guesses in order to hone in on a solution. It's definitely uh, way beyond uh, anything um, I think mere mortals are capable of. Perhaps some sort of Rain Man type uh, approach is going to be the most likely way of solving it. And I did a bit of googling on this. I actually found a website which explains how to solve this. So if you are genuinely interested in how to solve the world's hardest Sudoku, um, you can look in a couple of places. Uh, the place to look though would not be our trusty Sudoku solver on the computer, even a site like this one which is excellent and contains a range of very very complicated techniques. You can see down the right hand side here. It tried all its techniques. It wasn't able to fill in a single number. The best it was able to do was to get to a 3-9 uh, pair, I think, in this cell. So it's managed to eliminate one cell down to two possibilities. Um, now, this very unusual site, though, headed World's Hardest Sudoku. I'll put the link in the chat so you can, you can browse it at your leisure. Um, describes how one might be able to go about solving this. Well, in fact, this fella has actually done it. Um, and effectively, as I just scan down here, you'll see that he describes a method that's very much based on uh, a sort of iterative approach to guessing. Um, and it takes a very long time. And I think uh, in some situations, he has to sort of go about 27 moves ahead in order to work out whether particular guesses work. So definitely this must be a candidate for the world's hardest Sudoku, but as I said before, not solvable in my opinion, mentally, you know, in the sense that you can't look at the grid and stare at it and come up with an answer. You basically have to go through a, some sort of very, very long-winded search. Now, how might Sudoku solving evolve in order to bring us closer to being able to solve puzzles like this. And I've been fascinated, as I'm sure many of you have, by the ongoing World Chess Championship, which is taking place in London at the moment, uh, between Magnus Carlsen um, and Fabiano Caruana. Um, it's currently tied at six games all after a series of 12 draws, and there was a lot of consternation yesterday about Magnus Carlsen offering a draw in a, uh, a very advantageous position from his perspective because he really wants to get to the the rapid games that will now decide this. He doesn't want to play classical chess anymore which uh, involves both players having uh, an awful lot of time to make their moves. He wants to get to a situation where he's very restricted on time and so is his opponent because he believes that he has a better intuition about the game and he'll be able to exploit that. And one of the ways of viewing how these grandmasters, you know, make their next move, how they calculate, is fascinating to me. Uh, so I'm just going to play you a short clip now of Magnus Carlsen playing blindfold chess. So have a look at this. Competing against 10 players simultaneously. That in itself is not extraordinary. But Magnus cannot see the boards. He's facing the other way. So he has to keep track of the positions of 320 pieces blind. And the number of possible moves? Infinite. Magnus comes out on top. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Well, what we see there is him holding 10 chess boards in his head at the same time and calculating the, the best moves that he needs to make. 
And in fact, if you do a bit of research into this, you find that in order to be a great chess player, you actually, it's not enough to be able to look at a chess board and make brilliant moves. You have to improve your ability to mentally calculate several moves ahead without reference to the board that's in front of you. And I wonder whether one day this is where Sudoku solving will go because there is a similarity between Sudoku solving and chess in the sense that we need to be able to think several moves ahead in Sudoku, make some logical inferences from, the, from those thoughts in order to place the next number. So could there come a time when actually, in order to be a world Sudoku champion, you need to be able to hold a Sudoku in your head and calculate moves ahead in your head in order to see the next step. I don't think that this is such a crazy idea, um, particularly when you think about what Magnus Carlsen can do with a chessboard. If Magnus Carlsen can hold 10 boards in his mind at the same time, surely a human being can hold, you know, 40, 50 numbers in their head at the same time. Um, and make deductions from that. It seems, it seems possible to me that that might be something that people go to in the future. I'd really welcome your comments on this. Uh, this channel I know is followed by a lot of the world's best Sudoku solvers. So do you think that in at some time in the next 10, 15, 20 years, it will move into the realms of us you know, us establishing that calculation in a Sudoku sense is more efficient when you can't actually see the numbers on the page. That's the thought for the day. So thanks for watching. Bit of a different video today. I um, so apologise to the gentleman who asked us to solve the world's hardest Sudoku. Uh, hands up, I, I'm not good enough to solve it. Um, but keep the videos coming or keep the requests coming for I'd say more normal Sudoku puzzles. Anything, anything extreme, diabolical, very, very hard, fiendish, super fiendish, we're more than happy to take those on. And we'll see you next time on Cracking the Cryptic.